Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Welcome back to Cook and Share. I've always been a fan of pork cutlets and curry, so I decided to make this dish pork cutlets with curry sauce. Absolutely incredible. You're going to love it. You have to make it. So let me walk you through. So what I've got here are a couple of butterfly chops. Now you can use bone in too, I just like the butterfly. They're a lot easier to work with. And I'm just going to go ahead and give them a pound, just to tenderize them. So once we've done that, I'm going to season them up with some salt. And of course, one of my all-time favorite spices, some ground black pepper. And of course, we're going to do this on both sides. Next up, we're off to our dredging station. So I'm going to dredge them in flour and make sure they're completely coated. That looks pretty good to me. An egg mixture. This is just a beaten egg. Nothing terribly special. And then some panko bread crumbs. Then onto a plate. Okay, I'm going to add some oil to a pan over medium heat. And you want quite a bit of oil in here. And we're going to place the chops in and fry them till they're nicely done. And what you want is you want these a crispy golden brown. After about 10 or 12 minutes, we got a beautiful cook on these. And don't they look incredible? We're just going to set them aside on a plate. Okay, after our chops are beautifully done, let's move on to making our curry sauce. By adding some oil to a preheated pan over medium-high heat. And I'm going to slip in a chopped onion, a small chopped onion, and we're just going to let this fry for a few minutes until it becomes a little bit caramelized. After a few minutes, we've got a slight caramelization going on. So I'm going to add in three cloves of chopped garlic, a teaspoon of minced ginger, and you want to saute this for a couple of minutes just until it's fragrant. So that wonderful aroma fills the air. Now I'm going to add in a tablespoon of curry and we're just going to saute this for a couple of minutes. Now I should mention too that I've used oil but you can use butter. Next up, three tablespoons of flour. And I'm just going to give this a stir until the flour is cooked through and kind of a roux forms. Okay, once the butter is cooked through, I'm going to add in a cup and a half, and I'm going to do this half at a time, of beef stock. You can use chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, whatever you like. A tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And that's going to give you that dark, vibrant color. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a stir. I'm just going to switch over to a whisk here. Mm -mm. Smells incredible. Now add in the rest of the beef stock. And we're just going to bring this to a boil. And I'll just continue whisking this until it's smooth and creamy. All right, now we've got a great texture happening here. It's thickened up and smooth and creamy. So I'm just going to kill the heat. Serve our beautiful chop up beside a bed of hot steaming rice. 
our curry sauce on the side. Garnish it up with some chopped parsley. And there you have it guys, our pork cutlet with curry sauce. Incredibly delicious. So let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Mm. Dip it in that curry sauce, a bit of rice. Mm. Oh my goodness guys, absolutely incredible. The pork is crispy, the curry sauce is great. You gotta make this for sure, for sure. The combination is good, easy to make, perfect for the dinner. Mmm, just love it. For this recipe and many other great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of super stuff over there. Thanks for watching and thanks for subbing. And see you next time.